So you got your solar panels, but you can't use them. What happens after installation? I'm going to talk about that today. Welcome to my channel, I am Buljeet. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to be talking about what happens after installation. You got your solar panels installed on your roof and now you think, hey, I'm going to be able to make my own energy. But hold up, it's not that easy. You can't just turn your solar panels on. There are a, few, a couple of things that needs to happen before um, you can use your solar panels. So one of the things that has to happen is uh, an inspection just like if you were having uh, if you had a water heater installed in your house and then the city or the county comes out to inspect your water heater just like that uh, the city has to come out and inspect your solar panels as well as your electrical panel that the solar panels are connected to once all that happens then um, you have to wait to get permission from your utility company to get uh, to turn on your panel just be aware do not turn uh, turn on your solar panels before you have permission from your utility company or you can be fined for doing that um, I mean if you do it for an hour or two just to test it out or, or something like that they're not gonna like um, say anything about that or most likely I'm not saying don't count my words for it but most likely you'll be okay but if you turn them on and leave them on for like the whole day or for the duration of the time um, then yes def definitely they can fine you for uh, for doing that so how long does that process take once you have once the inspections have been completed and you ha and your contractor has submitted the documents to your utility company ours is PG&E once that has been done it takes about 30 days for your solar uh, for to get permission back from your utility company to turn on your solar panels there is something that you can do to expedite this um, wait time uh, what you can do is once your inspections have been completed and your documents have been submitted to your utility company you can call them up uh, you can call up PG&E and let them know that hey all uh, this stuff has been done and completed so that way they can um, expedite it and put it in the system and I have uh, heard from uh, several contractors that in that will definitely expedite it from 30 days they said they have heard uh, as uh, fast as uh, less than a week before you can turn on your uh, solar panel so just be aware be mindful I know it can be stressful and frustrating that hey I spent all this money on my solar panels and I can't even use them and I have to wait 30 days for a utility company to tell me how to use them but you know there's a lot of red tape that you have to go through so just be patient and just go through the process and this is the reason I'm making this video I hope this video is helpful when, when you are getting your solar panels and you understand that like hey uh, okay you know um, I have to wait 30 I have to wait up to 30 days uh, before I can turn on my solar panels because I, I was a little frustrated I was like hey I got my solar panels and uh, I, I paid for them why can't I use them so it it is what it is it's the process you have to go through this um, uh, another thing so um, I will be making uh, one last video hopefully maybe just a last video or maybe a couple of videos but not many more videos regarding my Tesla solar panels and that video should be coming out um, and 
two to three months, I'm gonna, uh, once after I get my solar, uh, solar panels um, turned on, then I'm gonna give it a couple of months and see how things go. Um, uh, the things that I'm gonna be uh, notating and uh, sharing with you guys is um, if I uh, order the right size panel and if I should have ordered a smaller panel or a bigger panel and how much difference it it made uh, toward our energy uh, cost or savings and how much it produced and how much we were producing so all of that so that way you have a uh, first-hand knowledge rather than just sitting at a computer or looking through your bills sometimes it just makes sense uh, to hear from somebody like hey this is the size of my house this was my bill it came down to that now so I do know the the system that I chose it, it it's not gonna eliminate my bill there will be something but I did that on a purpose I wanted to buy a system that was uh, smaller uh, then that way and see how much my bill is if I'm comfortable with it I might just leave it alone but if I think my bill is still too high then I'm, I can always add on more panels but the thing with Tesla is you can't just add on more panels you basically have to purchase another system from Tesla and it's just like just like going through this whole process again and it will be like a new order so that's the only thing if you went with a different company other companies what they can do is they can just add more panels to your system but hey uh, I, I think that this was like a very good company this is a very good company and um, if you want to go with somebody else uh, you can go with somebody else it's always uh, um, it doesn't hurt you know and then I, I think solar panels are great so be uh, looking out for that video in a couple of months um, regarding that there are other videos that I'm going to be posting up just DIY things and reviews that I am doing another thing I put a link in the description for my referral code so if you are thinking about getting Tesla and you're looking for a referral um, I have the link to my referral code in the description so go ahead and use uh, feel free to use that I'm not sure if I get something I think you guys get something but anyways um, so the referral link is in all of the Tesla videos so if you go back if you can't find it on this one so there will be on the in the description um, other than that uh, please like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video coming out or any other videos if you like my channel um, i really appreciate it all right guys if you have any questions and comments feel free to leave them in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer those for you have a good day